Okay, we're going to have a look at this do it now task. This is an isometric drawing task. You can do this with a pencil. I'm going to use a fine liner. If you'd like to use a ruler, you can do that. So if we look at this, the idea, here's one that I've completed, is to copy this image onto the isometric grid you have. Now, when we start with this, it looks quite complex, but in fact, it's just a series of cubes. So if we look at this, we've got this cube here, and what's important is that we start in the right place. So if we look at that, and we look where we've got to start, we've got to ensure that we start in the middle here. So each of the cubes, if we look at the um, squares, each of those is kind of two of the other squares. So we go one, two there. So you can see that what we're doing here is we're just drawing a cube. Then if we come down and draw the next cube here, and finish drawing that cube. So you can see there, we've drawn one cube, starting in the right, right point at the middle here, just under the T there is, is kind of vital to fit it all on. Okay, so if we look there, we can see that now I've progressed on drawing these parts and as I say, you can use a ruler, but And there's the finished cubes. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, if you like, cubes. So all you're really drawing is those six separate cubes. Then to add this shading or hatching, and I'm just doing it that way on these. So you can do this with a I, I would recommend doing it with a pencil and then going over with a fine liner. And then for this other face, we're doing the, the hatching the other way. Okay, so there is the isometric drawing do it now task.